Hello Leo, how are you guys doing? Thank you so much for being here. Okay, Leo. I just want to clear the energy really quick. Leo, so I have your coffee cup right here, and I'm gonna pull tarot and oracle, of course. And also, I wrote down the messages that I saw in the coffee while I was drinking it. Okay, so I just wanted to tell you about that, and of course, as usual, so interesting. <laughs> so, I saw first, I saw three stars. And then I saw like um, armor, like a shield, like an armor, and then it formed and it was like a knight. But then it was like they had three stars on their armor. So I looked up armor with three stars and what actually came up was like, you know, there's something um, in the army, well, the U.S. Army, where three stars on your uniform like mean something and it was coming up that it meant that you were like a lieutenant general or that so th there's something here about from what I just like looked up about it it's, it was like giving me the impression that this was like you know a higher rank okay that was being honored that it was being shown so there's something here about you being honored, about there is a protection, because armor is a protection. And then night is like the old ways. And then this was something new. Okay, so it's kind of coming together, the old ways and the new ways. And maybe the way that you are going to be honored is going to be transformed here. Um where there is something here about protection that you have put around yourself. There's something here about choosing to take a, on a call or a position in, in life, uh, in this world here. Um, there is some kind of distinction that is going to be bestowed upon you. For your courage for your justice knights also represent chivalry so there's something here where you could have a new occupation that becomes available to you there's a new role that you're going to be playing in life or there's just going to be a way that spirit is going to uplift you is going to honor you is going everyone is going to see this distinction for the courage for the justice that you have chosen to stand for there could be dreams there could be wishes stars represent dreams wishes, creative energy, innocent energy, right? They represent this energy and then the armor is the protection. So you protecting that for other people, for yourself, this matters here. And the thing is, is you're also going to be attracting a person who has these qualities. You could already be with a person that has these qualities and they're going to amplify as they're amplifying within yourself. And it's like the divine is just like pouring this and it's going out into the whole world. It's a very beautiful thing. Or you could be meeting a person, attracting a person who is like a knight in shining armor. But the beautiful thing is, is you don't even need a knight in shining armor. You are one as well. You know, male or female doesn't matter. Then I saw a dolphin. Okay, so dolphins, um, you know, they represent communication. Um, dolphins have their own languages. They have their own dialects. They make up names for each other. So there's a lot going on in the world of dolphins, right? So there's something here about, there's about to be a lot going on for you. There's about to be a lot of new friendships, a lot of, 
you know, maybe you miss this kind of joking around with people and you have your little inside jokes and you just have so much fun and this like camaraderie, you know, because nights, there's like a bunch of nights and they all, you know, hang out all the time together. You know, they're nights. That's what they do. <laughs> so there's something here about like finding a group of people that you can fit in with but not you finding them. There is like a part of this that's a solo journey and it, 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 it just kind of appears uh, along the way. So I feel like maybe it's been a solo journey for a long time and now is the time when all of this is gonna appear. Um, a lot of indigenous people around the world believed that dolphins were able to communicate with the spirit world. And they represented reincarnation. So there is something here about in your life, there is a new role that you're going to be taking. And this is like you reincarnating, but you're still in the same body the whole time. But there is a reemergence here of you. And now you're going to be this, you know, lieutenant general. You're going to be this knight in shining armor. You're going to be attracting this. You're going to be this. You're going to be distinguished in this spiritual blessings bestowed upon you there's some really important spiritual mission that you've come here to carry out that you're doing and while this is all happening it's kind of like when a crab is molting we're in cancer season yeah when a crab is molting the crab is like vulnerable to predators during this time because they have to let go of the casing and then like new casing forms of their body or some shit, something like I don't know something like that something is happening and during this time you know so this is where you've been at <laughs> it feels like and as you're coming out of that and as you're re-emerging here there is something here about having this innocence and protecting this innocence, you know, because we're all stars, you know, we're all made of stars. And so it's like when we're first born, it's like we're the closest to the stars then, you know? So it's like the stars kind of represent this innocence of us. So now it's like there is a little bit here of temptation that's what i saw and i saw eve and then i saw uh the you know apple in the garden of eden and it's like okay temptation are you going to give into this temptation and it was just coming up as questions so as a lot of new stuff is going to be coming at you a lot of these new blessings when you're being honored when you're being distinguished in this way everybody has an opinion and everybody is noticing you know, and so you have to be able to discern what is right for you, what is not right for you, what you're going to engage with, what you're not going to engage with. By, you know, knights, they have this code of conduct of what they do. You know, there's very strict rules that they abide by and that's it, you know. So there's something here and it's like asking, is, is this healing? Is this what... I want is this representing what is this representing this like when people come into your life what what are they showing you what does this mean what are, what is this representing here with this person is this a temptation is this there's something here about pulling back and checking with yourself and questioning and if you do that, if you remember to take that step and check within yourself, is this going to be right for me? Because when people, you know, meet somebody or they have this situation, they have this situation, they have that situation, and they just jump in, they just jump in, they just jump in, they just jump in, they're not thinking of the consequences. They don't have anything to protect. They're not protecting anything. They're not standing for anything. You know, a knight is going to consider, okay, is this going to be right for me to engage in this. I'm a knight. I have an honor to uphold here, you know. So there is something here about thinking about it first. And that doesn't mean that you cannot then go through with it. 
but there is like a practice here that spirit wants you to get in the habit of of checking if this is going to be right for you because then i saw aladdin with the cave of wonders so it, with aladdin with the cave of wonders you know when he goes into the cave of wonders there's a lot of temptation there so it's like okay maybe he should check with himself should he even go in the cave of wonders well that ended up being a really great thing because he got the lamp and everything that happened but when they were in the cave he he knew he's like abu don't touch anything abu don't touch anything he's like he had to pay attention and it's a good thing he was paying attention to abu because he caught him right away touching something and he knew the cave was gonna so this was this allowed him to act quickly and to them to you know well they didn't escape actually but they found the genie the, the lamp and you know what i'm saying so there's something here about temptation and paying attention checking within yourself Because not everything is going to be black and white, right or wrong. It's not necessarily going to be like that. So this opportunity for a lot of great change. And the change is your destiny. The change is absolutely going to happen. Um, and then I saw all these people that have criticized you. They're all coming. They're all, all everybody's bill is about to come due. They all must stand before God now. Because with this whole cave of wonders thing, here's the thing. Anybody that messed you up, like Jafar messed up Aladdin on his journey there by not letting him out at the end. Anybody that does any of that, they will be punished. They will be punished. But this caused a lot of delays in Aladdin getting, you know, what he was a vibrational match to, right? But... That doesn't mean he didn't get it. He got it. But th there is a point here where the spirit wants there to be no more delays in you getting your blessings. And so you uh, choosing to put on this armor and be this knight and asking yourselves these questions before you're stepping forward into anything in life. This is going to help this along. So let's see now. This looks like a fox here and then but this is like a, okay so i see like a fox here and this you know in those little uh cartoon saturday morning cartoons where they had the little explosive bomb thing and it's like this black little and they throw it and it's like a little ball and it's like sparking and then it's gonna blow up that's what this looks like Something here with a person here, uh, a sneaky person, a person who is trying to put you in a corner um, intellectually. They're a very skilled manipulator. Something is about to blow up for them. You're going to hear about this. And then right there, there is a pathway that goes straight down. So this person is going to fall. There is a person here that, you know, they're not behaving in a way. This is like Javar, you know, when he gets sucked into the lamp and that's it. You know, something here is somebody's bill is coming due here. And this could be multiple people for sure. Now I'm seeing um, like a gorilla here. Okay, this is a gorilla and this is like a top hat. Okay, and so this is very interesting because, you know, you know, Darwin, we evolved from, uh, you know, being monkeys to cave people to humans. And then you have this top hat here, which is like this, you know, sophisticated general person, you know, a uh, sophisticated person that is is um, operating you know, from a very far removed state from the natural um, world. 
So there is something here about there could be a lot of people that are very removed from nature. And Spirit wants to remind you to not care about what it is that these people think. Because that type of thinking is coming to an end. So that is something that it's it's not going to pay. It's like you see how it tapers down a little bit, a little bit more, even more. It's like very dramatic. This is going downhill to be that way and to think that way, to have this kind of like closed minded thinking like those ways are dead, done, over with. That's not going to work anymore. So there's something here about, yeah, you don't fit in anywhere, um, but that is OK because these people that have, um, there's like a lot of people it feels like that question you and everything that you do and talk a lot about the things that you do. And they're not connected with nature. They're not connected with who they really are and things are going to get worse and worse and worse for them until they decide to follow. Their inner being is trying to get them to get back in touch with nature, interconnected with the whole planet here. You have already done all of that. You've been doing all of that. And all that's going to be left is other people that are doing the same. And just when you least expect it, there is a person here and there's a horse's head right here. Your night is coming up and you don't even see it. So there is a unicorn right here. Okay. This is a unicorn flying in the sky. This is you. You're like, whoa, look at that unicorn. I'm so excited to be alive. You know, and there is a person right here behind you. And this, it does not look like it on the camera, but it looks like a horse's head. Yeah, that's the top of the, that's like the top of the head and this is like the body. So anyways, there is a person here that is loyal, that is, that has chivalry, that stands for respect, that carries themselves in a way you know, either you, if you are, you know, usually the person watching Tarot's Divine Feminine. So the person coming in is going to be the one that would be, you know, have chivalry towards you. They will be the Divine Masculine, right? But you can flip it any other way. It doesn't really matter uh, who's male, who's female, who's Divine Masculine, who's Divine Feminine. There is a person coming in that is going to honor and respect you and everything that they do they are trustworthy. They are honest. This is such a relief for you. There's like a fresh breeze here. Something is going to happen that is going to prove to you that your dreams, that what you stand for all of this time, all of this time, it wasn't for nothing. You know, you're going to feel so good. You're going to feel so relieved. You're going to feel so happy. And just being yourself, just living in this day-to-day -day life, and spirit is like, oh, just wait. You think that's all that it is and you're so happy about it? There's so much more coming for you. You're going to be so validated. And there is going to be like a beautiful, magical experience where it's like you're going to see how you were just tailor-made to fit into this experience. And feeling so connected with everything that is. And having a person that you can share this all with. Yeah, that's coming here. Okay, let's see your plate. Okay. So this is like reminding me of an evil eye. This is like reminding me of a yin-yang symbol here. And this is like something that's readjusting. And as this is readjusting here, you know when you are looking at the yin yang symbol. You can either see the black dot or you can see the white background. You either see the shape of the black dot or the shape that is the white background. But you don't see both at the same time. Your eye flip flops back and forth. And right now, is a, you're in a state where you're about to flip to the other one. It's like you kind of scale out and you see nothing and then you're going to flip to the other way. And this is when your reality is also going to be flipping to the other way. That's like those pictures where it's like a, two pictures in one and you can either see like the young girl's face 
Or you can scale back and you can see the old woman's face profile. And some people see this one first and then they see the other one first, but then you can't see two at the same time. So this is what's happening here in your life. It's happening in your mind. This is going to be very beneficial to you here. There's something here where, um, yeah, you're not going to, look. less and less and less attention is going to go to whoever this fox person is. And spirit is going to take care of that for you. You have skunk spirit, know your worth. Yeah, I mean, I feel like you, um, this is you asking these questions. Because in the Cave of Wonders, Aladdin could just pick up a jewel and run right out, right? But there's something more that he wants here. There's something much bigger that is calling to him here. And, you know, there's something that was telling him, no, you shouldn't do that, you know? Not just to be honor and respectful because he made an agreement to Javar. This is about respecting your connection with the divine, right? And I he he didn't do that, and that was ended up being an amazing thing that ended up sparking this amazing change. You know, he was this person that was living on the streets, and with the little that he have, he's giving to other kids who are starving. You know, so. We need people like this that have a good heart to have a lot of money, you know, um, and to be empowered. We need people like that to be honored. We need people like that to be in a position where, you know, they can impact others. Um, so this is what's happening here. Wolf spirit turn knowledge into wisdom. I, there is something here that you're already very skilled at and you're starting to see how great you really are and how you don't you don't need any more training you don't need anything else more to prove you don't need this you don't need that other people that are out here doing all of these great amazing things you could kind of see how it's like yes they are so great but at the same time it's like i could do that like i could do that i could do this i could do that you know if you really think about it there's something here where you're going to see that you're already there. You're already proficient. You're already enough. You already have everything that you need to move forward. And so now this is you believing it is everything. It's going to flip for you now. Flamingo spirit. Embrace the in-between. You're in-between. You're seeing the in-between of the yin and the yang. That's what's happening here. Brown bear spirit, it says, take a time out. There's something here about when an opportunity presents itself, when you have an idea, uh, when you want to jump onto something, when you meet a new person, when you're going to do this, when you're going to do that, it's like, stop and check within yourself. Okay, you're settled about this. You feel good about this. Okay, move forward. There's something here about doing that first. Moth spirit, surrender now. There's going to be something really amazing that's going to be coming in for you here. Okay. Let's see. I want to see this yin yang card. Let's see about this. Wow. Self-worth. Know your worth. Know your worth, self-worth. Venus offerings. There could be something here where someone is offering you something, but you know it's it's there's just something not right. It, you know, you do not just take a first offer. No. I feel like you're going to get so many offers, so many offers, so many offers. And just because it's been a long transition, it's been a long time, we don't want to just take the first offer. Realize your own worth and what is actually what is somebody actually offering you? What is this situation actually going to benefit you? What is it that you really want here? Because you have so much knowledge to turn into wisdom. You have so much that is about to come in here. But you're still in the in-between. And when stuff starts to come in, you don't need to just jump on it right away. There's going to be more offers. There's going to be several offers. It's not just going to be one offer here. And this is limitations and fear. You could feel like, I better just take this offer because 
I'm not going to get anything else, right? No, 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 no. Uh, Ace of Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be one of those zodiac signs that's coming forward here. And this doesn't mean that this is, can't be a good offer, but there is something to be said about chivalry. So if someone is going to do things for you, you have to leave the space for them to do them instead of you just take action right away. You just give right away. So this is setting a foundation where you're being a divine feminine and a divine masculine. And what is there for the other person to be? There is no space for them to be anything. So then they're not going to be anything. They're not going to do anything. They're not going to show up. And there is something about that. There's something, there's something that... Let's see about, let's, let's see. Hold on. There's like, you know, like wolves, everybody has a role in the pack, you know? And if you're going to be everything, well, then you might as well be a tiger and be alone. You're, you know, you're not going to have a pack. And this is what's changing is there's going to be dolphins, and uh, you know, pods of dolphins, right? There's going to be um, knights. There's going to be other knights, you know, it's just you've had a solo journey, so you you know, or a period of good chunk of time here. So you want to do everything because you're used to doing everything. So okay, what is the card? Twin flames. This card doesn't <gasps> the lamp! The lamp! <coughs> The mother freaking lamp. Fulfillment wish. Wow. Wow. That's the thing with, you know, the whole twin flame. There is a runner. There is a chaser. You have to have everything within yourself and be fulfilled. And this person has everything within themselves and be fulfilled. And then you can come together here. You know? There are, there's things that, um, you know, Aladdin had to realize, you know, that he needs to believe in himself, that he is enough, the person that he is, you know, not this title of this prince and all these material things. Jasmine didn't care about that, you know, and she also had to realize that, you know, she is wanting a situation of love here. And she wants someone that is going to take her seriously, but she also wants someone to do nice things for her and to leave the space for this person to do the nice thing. You know, if Aladdin comes and he wants to take her on a magic carpet ride and she's no, 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 you know, it's like you got to allow someone to give to you because that's the thing is a knight wants to honor the person that they're with. They want to give them a gift. They want to do things for you. This doing these acts of service, doing things, you know, or they don't feel needed. So then you can't go where you don't feel needed because you don't feel like your full self. You can't be your full self. That doesn't mean that you can't do anything for yourself and that, you know, you only just wait around for them, you know, but you know what I mean? There is a balance here and you're in the in-between. You're in the in-between. So this is, means you're seeing it. You have this opportunity to kind of see it both ways and flip-flop back and forth here. Um, so just, you know, continuing to believe in your own self-worth. Continuing this um, self-care and knowing your worth and not settling for less than that. This is how you're going to attract the right person. Okay, what card flipped over? It's probably inner child, yeah. Healing inner child. Yeah, you have already done that. And this is why all of this is happening. Receive, open. Look at this. Yeah. Air. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So it could be an air sign. 
coming in for you doesn't have to be. Self-love is very, very, very important. Remember awakening. Look at all these hands out here. Wow. I can't believe this. Twin flame wish fulfillment. Wow. Wow. Fish upright. Fish upright is wish fulfillment. Is you being on your right path is blessings that you are going to be receiving these blessings. So knowing that you're on your right path, knowing that the right thing is going to come along for you and you don't need to rush into anything, you don't need to jump on this before it's gone, nothing that is meant for you is going to pass you by like that, no person that is the one that is uh, going to give you this genuine offer, twin flame here, this person is going to respect your worth. And they want to be able to show you. That's the thing is the masculine wants to provide. They want to be able to show you. They want to work for this reward of you in their life. And there is there is something here about this, you know, and, and the, the moon is, you know, in this tarot is, or in the Lenormand is um like the star card. <laughs> this is like making a wish and receiving it. Look at all these hearts up here. Wow, this is insane. And this looks like when they go on the magic carpet ride, doesn't it? In the live action one. Wow. How amazing. Yeah, there's something magical happening here. I saw like the unicorn. And it's like you're looking at the unicorn and you're so excited. You don't even see. There is a person right around that corner here. And you embracing this moment, embracing this in between, loving yourself, knowing your self-worth, loving this beautiful moment, doing what it is that you want to do. This is how you're pulling this person to you. And now you have the key and look at the fox. We saw the fox. This is reminding me of the womb is the place where the light enters you here. Because this fox, there is a person that's very, very sneaky here. But you have this key. So they may be coming through the city, but you have a key and you can get into a door and you can lock it. So you have a way to get away from something that is just not going to benefit you. And it's somebody that just doesn't have good intentions for you. And this is where you can scale back to your check within yourself. This is like the room card. So this is like talking about, you know, you don't have to let everything out into the open. You can keep things private to yourself. The key also represents locking some things away. You don't need to tell other people here about this healing that you have done with this inner child, about all of these things that you're doing here. You, you know, there is nothing that you need to make happen here. And you protecting yourself this is going to be taken care of by spirit for you. you you know you're just gonna pull your energy away you're not gonna you don't need to respond you don't need to engage this is like when celebrities and it's like all this drama comes out about them and somebody you know that went to school with them in the third grade sold something to the tabloids and it's like bs it's not even true when you respond and you engage it's making you look more guilty. You're giving fire to that person. And then they're going to use that and come back. You know, you go like this because there's a bug. And you're like, oh, there's a bug. And then they, they take the photo and you're like this. And it's like they write a caption that makes you look like you're crazy. You know what I'm saying? There, there is something here. There, there is a person that it's like, is it best to just get away from this person and not even engage in any way? And this person has shown you time and time again who it is that they are. So the universe walking away from these people, I feel like you're going to see profound changes and what it is that you're receiving in this life because you attracted those per people when you did not heal your inner child yet. And this was messing everything up. 
Now you have ring. <gasps> now you have ring. What? Wow. Twin flame ring. We got Venus offer. I mean, wish fulfillment. Okay. Let's get a little tarot. This is insanity. I cannot. Yeah. Okay. You have the seven of swords with the ten of wands. So this person that is cheating, this person that is lying, this person that is stealing, this person that is betraying, there's a person here that, you know, they're not benefiting your energy. They talk about you to other people. There is a person who is denying their connection with this earth, which is so interesting because this fox is here in the city. What are you doing here? <laughs> you should be in nature, denying their connection with this earth. That is a very good indication. This person did this well, this, you know, they had a rough childhood. And maybe they didn't really mean that. And no, 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 no. Is this person connected to this planet? Do they, are they grateful to be alive? Pretty much every day you know you can think of people everybody you know and pretty much yes or no you know the answer if it's a no i don't really think you need to be around that energy and this is not your burden this is not your cross to bear when everybody shuts the door on them what does this fox have to do they have to go out into nature there is nothing else they can do and that, guess what? The wound is the place where the light enters you. This is where they're going to find who they really are. Oh, you think living on the streets for scraps is fun, Fox? It's not, right? So this is how they're going to find their way. So there's something here about this because when you allow people to mistreat you, this not only messes up things for you, it messes up things for them. And it messes up things for others because you're here to be this embodiment of source energy. And how much you give when you are an embodiment of source energy. So th this energy needs to stop being fed. That's what this is talking about. Wow, this is insanity. I love it. You got the Queen of Pentacles and you have the Six of Swords. You're moving on. Some of you are going to actually move. There's going to be an opportunity that you're going to have that you're going to be able to move. And this is going to be really great for you. Could meet somebody. There could be a job opportunity here. There is a way that is going to be made open for you. And the queen of pentacles is the queen of connections. She has connections. And this is something that you're going to gain. Where you're going, you're going to be able to build this beautiful garden here and kingdom and be so nourished and be so rewarded because your efforts are not just going to be like when you pour water um onto concrete <laughs> you know is it's actually going to grow and build and you know be nourished and come into something more here yes this is you um standing strong standing strong uh, on your own and then this is other people coming to you and they're going to be coming to you for your glowing light of love your glowing embodiment of source people are just going to want to be around you and they're going to give to you they're going to honor you and you're going to give back to them it's going to be this beautiful exchange of continuing and building and building and building up of love of the embodiment of love this is, uh, this is ridiculously beautiful. That's what the Queen of Pentacles, she's holding a gift. That's what I heard. That's not what the card means, but this is what I heard. This is a gift. You, 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 those wish fulfillments that are going to be had and you're going to be given everything that you need along this way. There's like so much, your aura is going to change. Everything is going to change where you were fighting on your own for so long in this, you know, and now in this in between, 
where you can see things, but there is not a change in your physical reality, where you have done the work and you have healed and you're embodying something new, but it's still not sticking because you're still on the wrong island. But you're leaving this island, you're going to calmer water, you're going to where you can actually build this garden here. And, and then you have these this offer Because you believed in your own self-worth. That's why. And now you have the chariot. So this is quick movement. This is movement. You're going to move. Some of you are going to move. But some of you, there is just going to be changes that you're going to start to see. that are going to build and build and build and build and build. And you're going to see the reciprocity. This is going to motivate you and make you so clear about what to do, how to do it, be so balanced in what you are receiving and what you are giving that it's going to be such a relief, such a relief. And this is the thing is the city, he's leaving it behind. That's what you're supposed to do. And the city can be a lot of different things, right? This is the chariot. So this is, you know, a cancer card. This is during cancer season, you're going to start to see where this is going to change. You see this in between and waiting. You're waiting in the in between and praying and having faith that this is going to change for you. And then it is. That's the ace of wands here. Okay. So you're going to be set free from what has been holding you back and your destiny is going to become so very very clear to you here and you're going to embody it you're going to understand it and you're going to feel this peace wash over you these blessings wash over you that you're going to be receiving you're going to be seen as proficient the king of swords is seen as proficient and honored for the transition that you have chosen and you stuck to, you committed to this transition. This is why the butterfly is etched in stone. So everyone sees this transition that this person made. The three butterflies, just like the three stars that were etched into the armor. Wow. So this really could be an air sign. Uh, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. But, you know, it doesn't have to be. It can be any zodiac sign. You're going to you're going to have this feeling of knowing. You're going to have this knowingness about who this person is. Yeah, 100%. Wow. What? Okay. I mean, and doesn't she look like Jasmine? Wow. She does gonna happen amazing okay thank you so much leo i hope you resonated with this and if you did and you want to like and subscribe that would be awesome okay thank you i'll see you tomorrow